All right, quick uh, little update here. Uh, pull open my teleport list. Quickly have now the panning. Uh, this all works, so I have a bunch of debug text for registering my mouse button. But you can see here, I'll, I can actually drag this guy over. I can right mouse button and teleport to wherever I need to go. Hooray! As you can see, I'm doing a box trace to make sure that, you know, it's in a correct location that uh, uh, can situate me in a proper aligned location. Um, so that way I'm not running into issues where, you know, I'm getting stuck in the ground. <laughs> well, that one didn't work, <laughs> funny enough. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. I'm going to have to do proper offsets um, relative to the hit location. Because it looks like ramps, yep, sometimes I get stuck in the ground. So, I'm going to have to fix that. But, for the most part, this works totally fine. And you can see here when I switch over to a world partition map. Uh, terminate, yep. Uh, jump into game. Uh, this works as well. And what's actually really cool um, was when I was setting up the, uh, the zoom functionality which I can show here just with my mouse button. Uh, I have it scaling also relative to the amount that you're zooming in and out of. And what's kind of funny is I have lost my character. <laughs> so I need to put up like a UMG widget or have like some sort of display that'll show like, hey, this is where your player is at. Uh, but you can see here when I teleport uh, to those locations, it loads the new section of uh of the world partition so i can you know teleport here and see the middle of the map hey that looks great i can zoom in maybe i want to teleport here and then when world partition is done loading in that area then it, there we go um, that one at least timed out but this allows me now to teleport anywhere uh on the orthographic view of world partition um, so one thing I did notice as well is if like a tile is not loaded and it kind of makes sense. Cause like if I right click in that area and you know, there's no collision there, then I'm just going to end up, you know, in the ground. <laughs> so I'm going to have to find a way to, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, suspend the, the character. I, I kind of did that already with like the pre-place locations, but the problem is like, I don't know what I don't know in terms of like if it's not loaded so maybe there's a way to save that ground information or something if i want to teleport you know to here right uh but now when i've triggered the teleport the collision's not there but i've already fallen through and now it's loading and it's loading uh, like behind me after the fact so yeah i'm gonna have to figure something out maybe somebody will uh, come up with an idea and i will look at integrating that Cool. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.